When it comes to luxury fashion, there are a few staple items that immediately come to our minds as the quintessential luxury products, right? Like I'm talking about Birkin, Kelly, Chanel Classic Flap, Lady Dior, and the list continues with various products that hold a similar power and prestige. Since I'm a recovering handbag addict, I tend to give my examples from bags, but I think you already got the idea of what I'm talking about. Every once in a while, luxury brands introduce new products to dominate the industry and trends. People get obsessed with them, they turn into global trends, and it becomes a bit overwhelming. These products mostly define and shape fashion trends of the time, they become something huge, and then they just get underwhelming? Yeah, I think that's the right word here. Or even out of fashion. Suddenly, they disappear as if they never existed or as if people hadn't been obsessed with them. At this point, we no longer see people getting excited about them. It's a bit weird and sad, honestly, considering that you put your thousands into that singular item with the hope of using it for years to come. But while well, that's how fashion trends work, I guess, that's the natural process with fashion. Something comes up, people get excited, everyone wears it or dreams of wearing it, then people just stop liking it and it disappears. Today, I want to talk about fall and luxury classics that were once huge. These products don't even feel luxurious anymore, that's how overexposed they are and they're a bit forgotten because of different reasons. They just couldn't make it to the top and stand next to the luxury stable items and I thought, why don't we talk about them? Like, this could be a video series, just say the word, let me know if you want more videos like this one and I'll cover you. The first thing I want to start with is belts. No, not just any belt, because we still love them, they're great, I'm talking about these belts. Many luxury brands have such belts with their initials on them, I know, but these are the most common ones, at least according to my experience and observation. I think more subtle ones like Valentino and YSL are still appreciated, even though they're not that popular, but in recent years, I can say that I haven't been seeing these bad boys around. I think these belts are another victim of the quiet luxury trend, what do you think? Because before the rise of quiet luxury, these belts were a status symbol. People used them with the hope and expectation that they would immediately improve and elevate their outfits because they're high-end luxury items. I hate to break it to those people, but no. Just because someone wears a designer item doesn't make them trendy and stylish. It's about putting the pieces together one by one and making it work, not grabbing every expensive item you could get, crossing your fingers and hoping for the best. So yes, this luxury logo on belt trend is kind of dead, because the brands were too obvious and loud and in time it just became a bit tacky, especially with the rise of quiet luxury. Because quiet luxury proved that you don't need to wear loud items to look classy or fashionable and I love it for that. And oh, let's talk about Hermes for a bit, okay? Because I just can't stop thinking about its Oran sandal and the huge hype it got when it was introduced for the first time. It was insane. Nowadays, I don't see people wearing it as much as they did last year and it's so funny to me because I still remember, oh my god, you guys, I finally got it, themed unboxing videos. They still haunt me to this day. <laughs> that was crazy for real. I mean, I was like, they're just sandals. They don't even look special. Anyway, people were swooning over these sandals and it became a staple piece of summer wardrobes. Even though it was huge, people are really silent about it these days and I no longer see people wearing Oran sandals. I think people thought it was unique, it's Hermes, duh, but then realized that everyone was wearing it and it just killed their joy. Like, this is the original for $760 and this is the one Amazon sells for less than $35. Some people who enjoyed the design and wanted to get something that looked like Hermes bought the $35 version and the others hated it. That's probably why people stopped wearing it. Just like Hermes or on sandals, we had the Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra collection. And oh boy, I'm glad it's over. I like jewelry, I like clover, but this, this was out of hand. It was everywhere, like from the cheapest store to Amazon, people were obsessed with it and it was overwhelming. I believe since there were many counterfeits, Alhambra shared the same fate with Oran sandals. These necklaces, rings, bracelets, and earrings were too popular, too common, and at some point, it became tacky to people and they suddenly started to hate it. I think when it comes to luxury, people love it only if they're from a lucky minority. They love it when not everyone has the access to get it or something similar to that. But when they realize there are lots of fakes, they just start to despise it and it's kind of funny, not gonna lie. It's like seeing another child having a Barbie doll and getting frustrated, but hey, who am I to judge? Now, let's move on to Dior. Oh, Dior, with the latest scandal, people are frustrated. I mostly see angry customers seeing how Dior is selling a bag for thousands of dollars while it only costs $57. I mean, 
There are other things we need to talk about and criticize, but all right, that's better than nothing, I guess. Anyway, another luxury fall is definitely Dior tote bag. No, I don't think Lady Dior will fall anytime soon. It's been a luxury symbol for years now, and I don't believe people stop liking or adoring it. But for its tote, I can say that it's falling as I'm talking right now. As I mentioned, people are frustrated about its price, there are lots of dupes, and I believe people will avoid wearing Dior at least until things get a bit calmer. I personally believe it's a nice handy bag, but I also know that there are way more affordable options out there, and not to mention Dior bags are covered with workers' sweat and tears because of the exploitation. Thanks, I'll pass and prefer ethical brands that value and respect their workers and customers instead. Next, we have Valentino Ruxtad pumps. I know, I know, they were baddies of our time, but not anymore. They were so cool, stylish, edgy, and oh, people loved it. But I think they're no longer suitable for today's fashion taste. It doesn't seem edgy anymore, instead it's giving the 2000s in a bad way. Sorry if you're a fan of Rockstar pumps, guys, that's just what I think. Fashion keeps evolving as it should. If you want edgy shoes, you can look for sharper designs instead of round ones. They're more bold and assertive, but these shoes, on the other hand, look like pure chaos. That's it. They're a bit out of fashion and they're too loud. Like these shoes are attention grabbing, okay? So when you begin to see it everywhere, it gets a bit overwhelming and you start to get sick of seeing them. Almost every celebrity wore them, and I think it made these shoes less interesting than they actually were. Another celebrity favorite was Balenciaga Triple S for sure. People were obsessed with these chunky sneakers, right? It was the easiest way of saying, I'm one of the cool celebrities. Everyone was loving it until they didn't. Number one, they got bored with it because it was everywhere and too much. Number two, the Balenciaga ad scandal was huge and people, especially celebrities, were hesitant to wear anything from Balenciaga, at least for a while. I know many brands have their scandals, but Balenciaga was something else since it involved children. I assume many of you know what happened, but if you don't, I'm willing to make a video about it because I don't know about others, but I still do despise Balenciaga to this day. Now, let's talk about something not edgy or cool. It's something classy, at least it was classy back in the day, it's the Burberry check pattern. Scars, handbags, sneakers, even umbrellas. Yeah, Burberry umbrellas were so bad, I'm glad it's over. I think the reason why this iconic pattern is not that common is because it was too common in the past. People got sick of it as they should. It became something tacky, boring, and boring. Yes, I can talk about how boring it is till morning, but anyway. I think the quiet luxury trend also had an impact on our tastes whether we enjoyed the trend or not. Besides, nowadays we see really creative designs and they just broaden our perspective on fashion. Compared to those incredible things, I believe Burberry needs to work on its designs. To be honest, I don't understand why the brand is obsessed with this even today. Like, take a look at the first three rows, it's insane, and to be honest, it's a bit disappointing for a luxury brand to be this lazy. Having a signature style or pattern is something else, but using it as a filler element in design is completely lazy. And call me brutal if you want, but a luxury brand should never be lazy. That's like the whole point, am I right? Okay, I bet we can find more fallen luxury items like these, so let me know if you want me to work on a second video and don't forget to let me know what you think about these products. Leave a coffin emoji to appreciate these products, golden age, they served us well and now they may rest in peace. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you in the next one.